So here we have the demonstration of the Elmsley count. The idea of the Elmsley count is to show three cards as four cards and conceal one card. For the purpose of this routine, the Ace of Spades will be the card that we will conceal. Not too worried if you catch glimpses of the card during this demonstration, it's purely uh, incidental really. So the Ace of Spades should be third from top, two face down cards on top of it and the other card underneath the Ace. Some people begin the routine with the cards in the right hand. I think this looks really unnatural uh, when they take the cards over to the left. So begin the routine with the cards in the standard dealing position in your left hand and have a really light grip. Now you're going to thumb off the first card to your left. Now this is exaggerated, you're not really going to move it that far, but it's just so you get an idea. And your index finger should be at the top. That will just prevent the cards fanning when you thumb the first card off. So again, you're going to take your thumb, push over the top card to your left, like so. And then with your thumb and finger, you're going to take the bottom three cards and move the top card to your left. Now when you move the top card to the left, you're then going to pull the bottom card of the three cards in your hand. And then you're going to add the first card to the bottom of the deck and then take the top two cards, like so. That would be the ace and the other card. And then take the next card and then the next card. And that's the Elmsley count basically. So let's just go through that again. Ace is third from top. You're going to thumb off the top card. At the same time you're then going to pull the bottom card. Let me just go through that just so you know what I'm doing. Pull the bottom card. Again it's exaggerated. You could just pull it a millimetre once you're uh, practiced a lot I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's just go through that again. Thumb off the top card. Pull the bottom card towards you. Add the first card to the bottom. Then take the next two cards. <laughs> Excuse my technique there. You're then going to take another single card and then the next card. Always move the cards to your left, so you want to keep your right hand still, but your left hand should always be moving. I haven't done it particularly well in this video, um, I rushed it a bit, but if you see my left hand's always going to the left, that just, you know, conceals the, uh, the card that you're trying to hide really, it just conceals that movement. Um, once you've done that, it then puts the cards in the Jordan count position, and how you do this is exactly the same as the Elmsley count, more or less, you take the first card, you then take another single card, so you're left with the double card in your right hand, you then add all cards together, put them all together, and then pull back the bottom card, and then add it on, and that puts the cards back in the Elmsley count position. That's the beauty of the Jordan count, you can just keep using those two counts to just hide that card. So let me just show you that again, didn't explain it particularly well. So uh, first of all you take one card, another single card, pull back the bottom card. Puts it in the arms of the count position. Again, just show you again. First of all you take the first card, take that away. You then come back, take one single card, you then got the double on your other hand, and you then put all the cards together and pull the bottom card back. Take all three cards, and then finally take the next card. And that's it. So once you've perfected those, like I say, you can just keep doing the count, and hopefully it will look something like this. Again, not great technique, my right hand's moving too much. I should try and keep that a lot stiller. But have some fun with that. And uh, yeah, that's it.